Hello everyone out there, this is Blabend Solutions and once again I want to welcome you all to another wonderful, simple and educative video tutorial. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to create a simple design on an envelope. Okay, so there's a graduation ceremony and you want to create an invitation design, you want to create a design for a graduation invitation. Okay, but this design will be on an envelope so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to create that okay so without wasting much of the time let's quickly rush to the classroom and we kick start but before we go uh, i believe it is not too late to wish you a happy new year so i want to say happy new year to you and i believe this year brings us more good health and uh, more strength as well so as to learn new stars with blab and solutions all right so with this being said let's quickly go to the classroom and see what we can do so with your photoshop open okay let's go to file click on new now let's name this graduation ceremony. Yep, graduation ceremony. Now with the custom, let's change this to uh, US. Sorry, yeah. international paper. Then we'll be, we'll be choosing from the list DL. Okay. Now with the DL, it comes with the width, which is 110 millimeters, and with the height, 22. 220 millimeters now uh, with the standard envelope size we have here uh, this this is the standard size but i'm going to interchange the width and the height okay so now the width will be 220 and the height will be 110 millimeters okay if you change this to centimeters it changes to 22 by 11 okay, okay so this size is going to be all right so all other things here are going to be maintained so the resolution maintained the color mode maintained the background color maintained then uh, okay so now let's click okay here all right so we have our standard envelope size here so the next thing we do is to go and create a new layer by clicking this, bringing your cursor down and click on it, new layer. Now, uh, bring the cursor to this here. Click on it and uh, let's choose, um, let me see, solid color. All right. Now the solid color, let's take something like this. Something bright kind of creamy okay let's okay something like this is okay so let's click on it good so with this let's right click to rasterize it okay then after after it has been rasterized let's come to our filter here so click on the filter go to noise then let's add a noise okay let's add a noise now with this let's increase the noise a bit is, that, is this not too much okay i think it's okay so that's 61 is too much let's reduce it to at least 50 so we can actually change uh, type 50% and hit enter so this is okay when you zoom out and zoom in so control plus on your keyboard when you hold the control key and click on the plus hold on the plus it zooms in okay and when you still holding the control key and you press the minus it zooms out okay so this is okay good so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to type we are going to type in here so uh, go click on the text tool here then 
type now i'm going to use uh, a font with the name old english okay so we'll do it old english text okay old english text now i'm going to type graduation with an exclamation mark So for this, click on the move to let's increase the size. Control T to hold your shift key. Go to the corner, left click and drag as you increase the size. Okay, so if you are done, just hit on the enter key and just hold and put it somewhere here, somewhere nice. when nice it's like this okay so the next thing is we're going to type another text again now the text the text here would has, has to do with the the school or institu institution doing the graduation so I'm going to use a font called Helvetica Insert. A bold font. So I'm going to type the name. Wingy Mau. That is. Are you God? Wingy Mau. Good fashion. That is what I was told. God in the Mawa fashion school. I'm going to increase the size so by coming to this, click on it. If you don't find it here, it is called the character. If you don't find it here, go to your Windows tab, click on the Windows tab here, and under the C column, you see a character here, then click on it and it appears. Okay, then we just increase the size. So let's say 30. Let's bring this to this side a bit. Um, that is too big, so control T, let's kill it down a bit to a reasonable size. Okay, so I think this is good. So I'm going to put this on the far end, not the far end. Yet. So somewhere here. Okay. Good. So we can actually align them together. So I can actually align them together. So while this is selected, hold the control key and select the other layer and come to this side and right align it and that's it. We are done. We've aligned it. Now another text we added another text so we're doing much more text in here so Now let's group to tidy up. So from this to this portion and the handling, let's group them. So Control G. So to select, I click on the first layer here, hold the Shift key and select 
the class as in the so all the items you want to group now the next item i want to group is the hum, humble humbly invite you so click on the control key on the keyboard and click on it to select that, this now press on control g to group it and now let's give it a name double tap to rename it so front view you can give it any name that best suits you okay how did i spell my view ah. so So the next thing I'll do right now is to import in my flora swirl that I downloaded from the internet. So they are here. So this one first. So I'm going to hold and drag. Then I'm going to bring this in here. And uh, let's ship it. okay so hit enter ctrl t right click and now let's change it to click on the horizontal okay so so just bring your cursor up to the corner so you see this curve like curve like cursor then left click then turn it turn it turn it turn it okay so you are satisfied with what you have okay so i'm going to put this in here All right. i'm going to put this in right in here hit enter so we're going to right click then go to blending options then color overlay let's change the color to white so click OK and uh, click OK here. And now let's shift this up a bit. Okay, so now let's bring in our next flower, which is this hold and drag and bring it in and let's drop it in here. right click and click on flip horizontally all right so with this bring it closer some way and then let's rotate it rotate it nicely good so let's drag it down release it hit enter now let's change the color as well right click go to blending options and choose color valley then let's change the color to sorry let's change the color to white as well okay good so click ok click ok and Now the next thing we're going to do is also text, text wise. So let's group this. So select the amount, shift, click on the shift key on the keyboard and click on the last flower and control join to group it. Okay. So uh, floral. Good. So the next thing we're going to do is to type in the date time and uh, the venue in which this will take place okay so i'm going to fast forward this portion so as to save time all right Alright guys, welcome back. 
so uh, the next thing we are going to do now is uh, bring in the graduation cap okay we're going to bring in our graduation cap so we have it here graduation cap this is our graduation cap so just hold drag and bring it in here so we're going to place it somewhere here now this is too big so hold your shift key whilst the cursor goes to the corner left click and drag to scale it to a size that you think it's okay for you so i think this is it sorry we do that control z shift and drag it to the side that you think it's okay then i'll bring this thing bring it here and voila now uh, if the institution you are designing this for has a logo you can as well shift this to this side and bring in the logo here or you can bring in the logo here as well so you find a place to put in the logo now because i don't have the logo i have decided to shift this thing to the uh, right side now if you have a logo you can decide to align them center and put the graduation cap here and also put the graduation cap here now i can leave this and this is nice right that is nice but finally i want to draw a rectangular shape with only a, with only an outline okay not a full color but an outline color so i'm going to uh, select my rounded rectangular okay then i'm going to hold and draw something like this get something like this now the fill color that is the reason so i'm going to say no fill color and uh, with uh, this color i'm going to choose the wine color okay so i'm still with the fill color so with the outline color i'm going to choose the wine color okay then i'm going to do this and i'm going to select as uh, the re rounded rectangle is already selected so i'm going to con click on the control to select the color film then center align it okay and we are good to go all right so that is it here we are and uh, there you have it your envelope design is ready for you to print okay so this is how easy it is i believe you've really enjoyed watching this video and i hope you create something super than what you've watched here if you really enjoyed the video kindly don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel hit the don't forget to also hit on the bell so as to be notified anytime a new video is dropped your comments are really 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 so important to me so please don't forget to drop in your comment let me know what you think about this this design okay until i come your way next time and there's still blabbing solutions and i'm out